All right, we've got some great Miami Hurricanes news. Of course, Coach Cristobal has done a better and better job in terms of acquiring talent, building a team, spring balls in full force, a lot of good things there as well, transfers making big names for themselves. But like all good programs, Miami isn't just focused on the short term. They've got their eye towards the future as well, which leads us directly into this news. Let's pull up this report, courtesy of 24-7 Sports, and then we'll talk about it more in detail on the other side. Blue chip running back Gerard Pringle, one of the fastest athletes in the 2025 recruiting cycle, committed to Miami on Saturday night. Pringle, 5'10 and 182 pounds, plays at Sefner, Florida, Armwood. He is ranked number 360 overall in the 24-7 sports composite, but as high as number 93 by on three. So there's certainly a lot of disagreement there with how good this prospect is. Pringle ran a 10.56 in the 100-meter dash, the fourth fastest time in the country for football recruits in the 2025 cycle. According to ESPN's UC report, he ran for 1,683 yards and 24 touchdowns on 7.7 yards per carry as a junior, according to Max Preps, while leading Armwood to a 10-2 and record. All right, so this guy obviously is a heck of an athlete, heck of a football player, big-time pickup for the 2025 cycle from the Miami Hurricanes. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first, Miami fans, in the comment section below, as we're getting closer, as we're working our way through spring and just getting closer and closer to the 2024 regular season, how many more seasons, if Crystal Ball, this is, I think, a really interesting question. If he can't turn this program around, how many more seasons do you give him? Because he's doing well in recruiting, but eventually there have to be results. Is this a make it or break it year for Crystal Ball? Do you still want to give him another two or three years? Give us your opinion on Coach Crystal Ball's long-term future for Miami and what he needs to do to stay there in the comment section below. But, Myers, let's switch over to this recruit. What are your thoughts on Miami getting up to uh, pulling off this big-time pickup here? Yeah, Nick, I think this is a great pickup for Miami because I think Miami, they have an identity crisis at the running back position when you come into this year. There's really three guys, you know, a very even base committee from last season. They had three guys, almost identical numbers of carries. Henry Parrish Jr., who people would say is probably at the top of the list, had 100 carries. Uh, Mark Fletcher had 105 carries. Donald Cheney Jr. had 94 carries. All very similar, all very similar yardages. 600, 500, 475 yards, all right around the same amount of you know production on those carries as well. So I think this is really interesting. They've now got a guy who's a true like you know athlete, change of pace guy, catch it out of the backfield because that's another uh, thing Miami wasn't able to do. They didn't really have too many running backs that could catch out of the backfield and do a whole lot. The most, uh, the highest guy is Mark Fletcher Jr., who got seven catches for 62 yards, no touchdowns. But you look at a guy like Gerard Pringle, he was able to do a lot more with a lot less. You know, he got seven catches, 107 yards for a touchdown uh, his junior year as well. So this is a guy who can do a little bit of everything. He's extremely fast. He's broke some records, as they said, uh, in the 100-meter dash. He's just really, really a great athlete at the running back position. So I think that's good. But I think the important part here is Miami and Mario Cristobal, they had a plan to get this recruit. And we talk about how they have been doing uh, very well in recruiting. They've had some great coaching hires. But you look at newly hired co uh, running backs coach, Matt Merritt, who came over from South Florida. He was recruiting this guy for a very long time. As soon as he comes over to Miami this year, that is when this guy comes over. He's like, all right, I don't want to go to South Florida anymore. I'm going to commit to Miami. So the hiring of Matt Merritt that in turn hires this very highly touted four-star running back Gerard Pringle, I think is another really great move in the long-term plan of Miami Nick. Just showing that Mario Cristobal, there's more, you know, you got more than a running back coach with Matt Merritt. You bring over a very highly touted running back that commits to your program as well. I think it's a really smart move and just shows Mario Cristobal has a plan. Like you said, maybe we need to see a little bit more results in the upcoming year, but I think he has a plan and so far it's been working. Yeah, I agree with everything you said there. I think the thing that's really jumping out to me when you look at Miami in terms of what they've done recruiting-wise is they're beating out top competition in the state of Florida and in the SEC, which is, of course, a very brutal recruiting mindset. Of course, if, if for people who aren't too familiar with the Florida geography, Sefner, I, I'm pretty sure looking at the mileage here, it's at least halfway in between. It's sort of more central Florida between Miami and Gainesville, right? I think it's actually much closer to Gainesville, but I'm not a geography guy, so feel free to check, uh, fact check me on that. And Florida did offer and was actively recruiting this kid, and he chose Miami. Again, winning the state of Florida is really important. How about competing against SEC programs? Both Alabama and Georgia offered Pringle. 
and he chose Miami, right? Again, that's the sign I'm looking for. Can you win locally, and can you fend off the big dogs, right? It's one thing to beat up the Florida Gators who, look, they're in a little bit of a, I'll call it a turmoil right now. I'll be, I'll be nice about it. You could argue they're a dumpster fire. I'll stick with turmoil. But the point is, not only are they beating out the Florida Gators for in-state talent, they're also fending off the big dogs. They're fending off Alabama and Georgia, the big names nationally, the big names regionally in terms of the entire Southeast. And that's a great sign for Miami and Coach Cristobal. And I think that's one of the reasons why the Hurricanes seem really, really interested in keeping him long-term, depending on what happens on the football field, of course. Because for a number of years there, at least it felt this way. I don't know if it was this way in reality, but it felt like big programs like the Georgias, the Alabamas, and even the Florida Gators could just dominate the state of Florida or at least do much better than they should considering Miami's historical greatness and Miami's obviously what they can offer to pro uh, offer to kids as part of their program. And I think that's changed under crystal ball. And I think that's the important thing. And if you can build a solid recruiting pipeline and dominate, or at least do extremely well in a state like Florida, the third best state in terms of recruiting in the country, then you're going to have long-term success. So look, we want to see crystal ball win more football games, obviously, but I think there's something to how well he's recruiting and how it's a good situation for Miami. I feel like it's the best situation they've been in recruiting wise at least in a decade, right? And I think a lot of credit has to go to Chris Ball and his staff. He's made some great additions to help that out, like you mentioned too. I think that's a great point. But I think what Miami has done in the recruiting game needs to be recognized because that's how you build a program still, even in today's NIL transfer portal days, the way you build a long-term successful program is, in through, is through recruiting and Miami is doing just that.